Hey guys, so Brittany Mahomes' new BFF of Taylor Swift sparked an online debate that she actually acted high and mighty um, to stadium employee uh, while she was leaving the stadium after the Kansas City Chiefs game. She did that after being uh, accused of being unpleasant and didn't tip to a staff of uh, luxury Los Angeles hotel. Now it's another scandal that she's into. So Mahomes, Brittany, and his brother Jackson were caught on camera walking through the bowels of the stadium after leaving the field. Brittany can be seen on camera asking a stadium employee, where do you go from here before spinning her finger in a circle of motion? So, I mean, sometimes uh, things uh, are the way they are. And right now, um, they should understand, Brittany should understand that they are center of attention because of Taylor Swift. And now everybody cares in the country. Everybody cares about Kansas City Chiefs. Not only because some people actually like them as a football team, but also because of Taylor Swift, all this media attention uh, that actually gravitates to her. Uh, that's why we all... Uh, see this difference that was going on with Britney like a year ago. I didn't know who Britney Mahomes actually is and now we all know about her personal life. What she's doing, where she's going, like uh, she's tipping or not. And in this case, um, a lot of people didn't like what they saw. So viewers on TikTok said Mahomes' wife needs to get up of her high horse, wrote one user. Another posted, it's the where do we go from here with the finger troll for me. She's too much, so extra, comment, commented another viewer. Lol, I'm all for Kelsey and Swift more than Mahomes, added fourth. So, uh, <laughs> I know, mm, I mean, <laughs> uh, they might not be fair, these people, but uh, they see what they see and they didn't ha hear any comments from Britney. And probably the way she behaves, the way she looks, for some people looks just normal, but uh, for some they didn't see this warm, person you know some people are judging a character based on their face features or based on how they behave on camera and maybe for britney it wasn't like um, something that she wanted in her life she wanted to be just the wife of a football player uh, but right now she should uh, maybe hire somebody who can show her how to behave around people maybe hire somebody who can show um, her how to handle press and stuff like that some viewers jumped to her defense one wrote honest question can someone explain to me how britney twirling her finger at an employee would i mean she's not snapping her fingers another defended her saying uh for real though because she said where are we going not a Mahomes celebrity fan but wife didn't nothing rude in the video she simply asked the question much ado about nothing com commented another so um yeah some people actually go into to to the defense but you gotta be main mentally stable have a uh, thick skin to handle all of this it's gonna come more and more and more to britney and he her husband but patrick mahomes especially like before the super bowl because patrick mahomes is really great uh, player and everybody's like i was asking some of my friends who's super into football like who are you betting on um in the in Super Bowl finals and they said yeah I'm betting on uh, Kansas City Chiefs because of my homes so uh, I mean it's gonna be fire so she needs to handle that she needs to handle all of this uh, in the right way and Patrick as well. Last month, a hotel server took aim at Mahomes and claimed the former athlete didn't tip any staff at a luxury Hollywood hotel she stayed at. TikTok user Jessica O'Connor, a former employee of One Huddle West Hollywood, recalled the former soccer star staying at the hotel she worked at, specifically calling her out for neglecting to leave a tip for her $130 bill at the hotel. Jessica, 28, also claimed she didn't tip other staff members during the entirety of her week-long stay. Ooh, some people are cheap. Uh, like, we, we don't need to argue this, like, um, I mean, I don't know if the story is true or not, but some people are just cheap, uh, no matter how much money they have, because I know a lot of guys and girls are saying like, oh, they're millionaires, they can tip us well, or they can leave some tips. But uh, yeah, a lot of people just being cheap. No matter how much they make it, no matter how much they're spending, they're just being cheap. And Britney is one of them. Britney is a person who's basically one of the people who is um, not wasting a lot of money. I was a server, barista, bartender. I did every position she said in the video. I believe Britney was in town to shop for her wedding dress. 
She explained that during her first interaction with the mom of two, she ran up a tab that she was more than hungry dollars. She was there with her friends. This kid explained Patrick was not there. I believe their tab was well over a hundred dollars, maybe like hungry thirty. Zero tip. They were there for almost a week, I think, and did not a single one of our staff got tipped. Not only did she did she not tip, she was just genuinely unpleasant. Yeah. I mean, more and more news will come like that. Uh, I'm sure about that, especially before the Super Bowl and maybe after, because now she's a media. She's in media attention, I would say that. Uh, <laughs> I want to say media victim, but no. She's just in media attention, and uh, all the paparazzi is going to be surrounding her more and more and more, especially before the Super Bowl and before all of this going to happen. I want to know what do you think. Leave me your thoughts in the comment section. Um, let's discuss. She's right doing that. Did she do it? Do you believe she did it? Uh, and all these questions that actually I have right now after... Uh, reading this news and also don't forget to like share subscribe it's extremely important for the channel to get a promotion on YouTube because YouTube does that they promoting videos based on your likes shares and comments uh, subscribe to the channel it's also extremely important to me and see you in the next one